Hi, my name is Kaylee Marvin, and today I'll be teaching you about different types of mutualism. Mutualism is an interaction between individuals of different species where the benefit of the interaction is greater than the cost. Today, I will be focusing on mutualism between aquatic species. In coral reefs, there are multiple different mutualisms that occur on a daily basis. A habitat mutualism is when one partner provides shelter, a place to live, or a beneficial habitat for another species. An example of this would be the relationship between clownfish and the sea anemone. The clownfish utilizes the sea anemone by seeking refuge within the anemone's tentacles. The tentacles contain nematocytes, which are stinging capsules that are used to scare off predators and capture prey. For reasons still unknown today, clownfish skin has mucus that protects it from the sting of the sea anemone and gives them the ability to live amongst the tentacles, avoiding predators. Another type of mutualism is service mutualism, where one partner performs an ecological service for the other. An example of service mutualism is the interaction between sharks and remoras. The remora, or cleaner fish, attaches itself to the shark by a sucker disc in its mouth. The two travel everywhere together as the remora removes parasites from the shark. Some may ask why the shark doesn't just eat the cleaner fish. The reason being that the benefit of getting cleaned is greater than the energy benefit if the shark were to eat the fish. Both are benefiting from the interaction as the cleaner fish gets to eat and the shark is able to stay clean and healthy. The remora can also be found attached to other large sea animals such as whales, sea turtles, and tuna. The third type of mutualism I'm going to talk about is trophic mutualism. Trophic mutualism is when one species receives energy or nutrients from the other. An example of this interaction can be found between various species of herbivorous fish and corals. The corals provide refuge for the fish, while in return, the fish graze on the algae, which has the ability to overgrow the corals. These trophic interactions have also led to predatory and defensive adaptations by the fish, such as camouflage, and utilizing chemical compounds that protect them from the predators. Mutualism is an important beneficial interaction in aquatic species. An ocean without mutualism would lack the reef-building corals we know today.